smell right here. I mean, I'm already hungry uh, this morning, and I think it's only going to get worse as we go through this hour. Guys, thank you so much for joining me this morning. We have Mark, and we have Andy, and we are making a wonderful seafood dish. Yes, we are. It's a shrimp scampi napolitano. Okay, so I completely said that wrong at the beginning of the show. No, I think you did pretty well. <laughs> Andy can speak Italian. You, you, you said it correctly. I was trying when I was reading that at the very beginning. We're going to get to the recipe in just a second, but first they're going to tell you about an event that you can come to this weekend and have some great Italian food. Yes, tomorrow is our annual Festa Italiana. Uh, we changed the menu for this time. It used to be at a different place, but this year it's going to be at St. Joseph's Church. It's at 140 West Government Street in downtown Pensacola. And we're going to have all kinds of activities uh, for the kiddies. We're going to have face painting for the adults. We're going to have, besides the drinks, we're going to have uh, music. We're going to have music for the adults. Uh, we're going to have tarantella dancers um, and all the food, of course, all the besides. The shrimps camp in Napoletano, we're going to have the lasagna and uh, spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, we're going to have sausage and peppers and onions. Uh, we're going to have uh, desserts like cannolis and tiramisu. So you will leave full. <laughs> yes. Definitely <laughs> leave full. And how long have you guys been doing this event? This is our fifth. Fifth year. This is our fifth festa, yes. And it year. keeps getting bigger, bigger and, and bigger. bigger. Yes. We're, we're very pleased to be in downtown Pensacola this year at St. Joseph's. And uh, we're going to fill the air with garlic and the, the great Italian food. All the meatballs have been handmade. Handmade oh, meatballs, wow. every one of them. I and mean, the you can't get any better sauce. than that. And you, the sauce. you can't get any better than that. And speaking of, you're going to fill the air with garlic. We're starting to do that this morning with our recipe. Yes, we've, uh, to start the recipe, we have a stick of butter, we have half a cup of olive oil, and we're sauteing the chopped garlic. There's 12 cloves of chopped garlic in there, and we're sauteing it very slowly. Don't burn the garlic. Flee then. It, you just have to do it on low, and that imparts the taste to the uh, butter and the uh, olive oil. And when we're at the festa, we actually put this mixture in a big, in a uh, crock pot and put it on low. And by the end of the day, the garlic literally liquefies. It's been oh, in there wow. for so long. It so. fuses. <laughs> it fuses. <laughs> it fuses. So yeah, that's very important for this uh, it, recipe that we don't burn the garlic. Don't get, burn the garlic. I mean, if you burn the garlic, the whole thing's ruined. That's, you might as well start over <laughs> yes. again. If you get, right, throw it out and start. <laughs> exactly. And start all over again. But uh, we get we have that garlic going, and we'll come back to the rest of the recipe in a bit. Uh, what we add, but it's perfect. It's pretty simple: shrimp, tomatoes, some some special seasoning, okay. and then Andy will be cooking the pasta, angel hair pasta. That's also very important. The pasta, you have to cook that just right, am I right? It has to be al dente. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what al dente means. I do, to, but, okay. you're, but tell, for those who don't know, please let them know. Al dente means that it uh, has to be between your teeth. The dente means tooth <laughs> in Italian, so it has to be, you get to taste it between your teeth when you first uh, try it, and when you know it's cooked. So uh, it's not too cooked and it's not too raw, so it's just right. I think you guys have uh, let everyone in the studio, uh, made them very hungry this morning. I think you've probably made everyone watching at home very hungry as well, but this is a great dish that you guys can make tonight for dinner as well, or hey, come see these guys this weekend at the event in Pensacola. We're going to continue to get started on this, and you guys have a nice recipe book to share with us too, coming up in just a little bit. And welcome back to Studio 10. We are back in the kitchen with our chefs, Mark and Andy, and they are here with us, the Sons of Italy from Pensacola, and we are making shrimp scampi napolitano. I say we, I mean they, I'm here to help, <laughs> but I don't think y'all want my skills in the kitchen for today when we've got y'all here to do it. So far, we have um, a Salt. boiling pot of water, right. and we've got butter, olive oil, and 12 cloves of garlic, which we've been sautéing for the for the longest time. And you do it on, it was low. interesting to me how low you do that on. Yes, we do it on very, very low. We're getting, we've turned it up because now we're going to put the shrimp in. Okay. We want to have it hot when we put the shrimp in. This is a pound of shrimp. It's peeled and deveined, uh, 31, 35s. And you put that in the same time as the pasta. Is it important that things kind of come out at the same time? 
it's not critical, but it's helpful. Okay. You want the pasta done a little bit before, so you have that ready to pour over the uh, the shrimp and the tomatoes and this part of it. What's the secret to getting the pasta just right? Well, when you put it in, you have to stir it immediately. And, the whole time? And, well, not not the whole time, but especially in the beginning. Okay. So it doesn't stick together. So it doesn't stick. Okay. So And then when uh, you, it's almost ready, uh, about six minutes or whatever, you uh, you have to taste it. That's and, the trick. And, and make, see. And make sure it's al dente. Do you put, you know, the, the packages are always like, add olive oil, do this, do that. Do you put anything in the yes. water? Yes, olive oil and salt. You do, okay. Salt imparts the taste and olive oil. Helps keep it from sticking. Okay. Before the shrimp get too far done, we've got Canadian steak seasoning. We use about two to four tablespoons. We we do it to taste, and that that's the gives it the salt, pepper taste. And uh, if you don't have the Canadian steak seasoning, Montreal steak seasoning does as well. But we don't want to get this too far done because we're going to throw in. I like to put the tomatoes in a little earlier than I used to. These okay. are this is two cups of diced tomatoes from the can. From the can, I was going to ask. You didn't yes. slice and dice no, those right now. No, these are from the can, and we found out that actually this tastes better than the fresh stuff that we used to make. This this recipe has undergone a um, an evolution. Right. And we learn about it, and we because we because we're making so many dishes. When we first started out, we sell at the festas we did over in Fort Walton maybe 50 dishes of this so we could use fresh tomatoes. Then when we start at Seafood Festival last year we served a thousand plates of this so it became impossible to cut up the right. tomatoes so we tried it with the stuff from the can and it tasted better. It tasted yes. even That's yes. great. That's yes. great that that worked out. This is a big event coming up this weekend. Y'all feed a lot of people this weekend, right? Yes, we do. When we, you do this, this is all for a good cause as well, right? We, we have numerous charities. Our, the, our lodge, Bono Fortuna Lodge in Pensacola, which has been in existence for eight years, is a 501c3 charity. We've got that designation from the IRS, and we have we provide money for many of the charities in town. We covenant hospice. We uh, give money to Mana, Mana Food Market, uh, Food uh, Pantry, right. the USO. We give also to so, national charities. But this is a great excuse to go have a fun time, eat some yummy food, and you're giving back at the same time. Exactly. Fantastic. Okay, so now we've got the shrimp mixed in, the tomatoes mixed in with our garlic. Wow, it smells good right here. Our <laughs> garlic, our olive oil, and our butter. It doesn't sound super complicated. It's Am I not, right? It's not super complicated. There are very few, very few ingredients, and you just have to, uh, the, the timing is a little bit important, and as I said, uh, I now put the tomatoes in sooner than I used to because it gives it a richer tomato taste when it cooks down with the, that sauce. Okay, so. sounds great. So we're going to continue to cook the pasta and all of our yummy stuff in this pan, and we're going to finish things up when we come back. Great. They told me to grab a plate and get ready to eat here in the kitchen. I grabbed this one, and I was like, okay, we don't have to fill this up. I can't, eat, I can't eat that much, although it smells wonderful in here, guys. We're, of course, with Mark and Andy finishing up our seafood dish. And, you know, I'm not going to say what it's called because you guys say it so much more beautifully than it, it, I do. It is called Shrimp Scampi Napoletano. See, I mean, I can't even, t I can't come close to that. <laughs> and what we've done already. We've got our shrimp and tomatoes ready. And Chef, I'll let you just take over and tell us what, what we have going on. Okay, so we originally sauteed the 12 cloves of garlic and the butter, butter and olive oil. Turn the heat up, put the shrimp in, use the Canadian steak seasoning, and then put the two cups of tomatoes in and cook it until the shrimp is done. So now we're ready to put it over three quarters of a pound to a pound of angel hair pasta. And it's and al dente. Al dente, exactly, hey. That was, you said that perfectly. Well, I was trying to put a little like curl on my tongue and That's, like say it like y'all. Well, I'm trying did, to get inspired you, here. You did great. <laughs> give you some there Italian lessons. Right, but at the Festa tomorrow, we will have this and of course, but we will be taking uh, memberships 
for, to the sons of Italy. And you don't even have to be Italian to join our lodge. That's true. And you guys were talking um, last year, it, the event ca continues to get bigger and bigger. And it's Saturday and it's in downtown Pensacola. So what do people need to know about the event? It's 11 it, to it, 7. It's from 11 to 7. Uh, it's a free parking, um, free admission. Uh, we have music, we have tarantella dancers, uh, we have food. Uh, souvenirs? Forgot, souvenirs. We forgot to mention gelato before. <gasps> uh, also, we are selling the cookbooks, and we'd like to present you with one of the, oh, our cookbooks. No, that is so awesome. I mean, you were telling me about the cookbook that's going to be available, and these are recipes that go back years and years and years. Yes. Yes, some of them in there are. They're handed down from grandmothers. This was compiled by the Grand Lodge of Florida. This has sold over 100,000 I'm copies not surprised. of this throughout Florida. With this how this kitchen smells right now, I'm not surprised. <laughs> and if you come to this event tomorrow and, and smell, you'll know what I'm talking about. And you were telling me at the Seafood Festival, you guys sold a thousand oh. plates of this particular dish. That is correct. Over a thousand, yes. Over the weekend. Over that's the weekend. What, I mean, that's unbelievable. Yes. And so now I get to try it. Not only I get to try it, and I have a cookbook, so I'm pretty excited <laughs> about that. Let's dish them up for Come you. meet these guys Saturday. And of course, we're going to put this recipe as well on our website under the Studio 10 tab on fox10tv.com. But hey, when you can have these guys, the professionals make it for you, why not? See them tomorrow in downtown Pensacola. We'll be right back.